What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my first subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for all signs. Cut through sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you like to donate, it's High Priestess to Five. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. If you choose to donate, love you guys. Um, I've, I'm open up for personal readings if you're interested. And I added a new mini reading. Um, all the details are in the description box below if you're interested. Love you guys so much. Okay, so I received another channeling. They're just kind of flying in tonight, so I'm just kind of rolling with it. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, the channel message I received was... Um, so, um, through many series of chain of events, a very irresponsible... A uh, person I heard is about to have a house fire in a home they're not supposed to be living in anyways. I heard um, it is another person's home um, and frauded documents um, uh, related to the home and the deed is what I heard. Uh, but through many series of chain of events, this person that's not supposed to be living in this home to begin with, I heard they're about to have a house fire in the home. It is about to be a total loss. A total loss. It is about to be a total loss. A total loss. So double deuces confirmation is about to be a total loss. It's about to create a shit storm. A shit storm. It's about to be revealed this person shouldn't have even been living in this home to begin with. This person will end up behind bars. And probably prison down the line. The house will be ruined. And they will they will not get a dime of the insurance money. Because it's not even that they shouldn't even be living there to begin with. It's about to create a huge investigation. Arson. They have had many fires in the past. Businesses and homes. They will not get away with it this time. Oh my God. Whoa. So you, good God. So you plug it in. How resident? I heard arson. Arson. So, and they've had a history of many fires. I heard business in businesses and in uh, homes in the past, but it doesn't sound like they've ever been charged with arson. Arson is intentional setting of fire. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know. I heard there's going to be a huge investigation, so I'm assuming the fire chief or fire people will do the huge investigation maybe the police maybe somebody else um but they have whoever this person is that's about to set fire to this home um they have a string of uh, of incidences of fires in businesses and in um homes uh, it sounds like other homes but they're not even supposed to be living in this home to begin with i heard it's about to create a shit storm it's just about to create a shitstorm. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God. I heard this person will end up in jail and probably prison down the line. It sounds like for many series of chain events, they're going to be charged with arson. I don't. It doesn't sound like they're going to be charged with arson, you know, obviously at the beginning, but I'm presuming the fire, um, fire, uh, department and fire chief or whoever does the fire marshal or whoever does the, um, inspection, uh, not the inspection, the, um, investigation, I'm assuming they will determine, uh, maybe they know about this person's history of fires in businesses and home or homes in the past. Um, and they're gonna put two and two together um i heard arson so i don't know if that's gonna be their determinal cause that it's arson or that this person really did that was their intent to start the fire and cause arson how that resonates but i heard they're not even supposed to be living in this home to begin with it's not even their home and they're not even supposed to be living there so meaning the person's home it is um they're 
I I don't know how the hell they live there without the person not even knowing that. And I I mean I don't know. That is lunacy beyond my imaginable thoughts. But how that resonates and applies, okay? Vulnerability. This person's life is about to spiral out of control in a huge way fast. And they're about to reveal information on their toxic family. They vowed not to say anything in the past, but they're about to after all this happens. Oh my God. I heard this person's life's about to spiral out of control. And basically, I heard they vowed not to say anything um, about this. Uh, it sounds like their toxic family was in on them living in this home and they're not supposed to be living in it, what have you, what have you. It sounds like their toxic family was in on it. But I heard once this happens to them and their life starts spiraling out of control, it sounds like once they get jailed and charged with arson and whatever, if they get charged with other charge or charges or what have you, what have you, um, they're going to reveal the information because they're going to be very vulnerable. They're going to be very vulnerable. And um, I, I think they're probably going to want to, lesser charge or charges or some kind of plea deal or something i didn't hear that but that's my intuitive logic and reasoning on this but um you plug it in how it resonates sorry i've got um the guy uh over there renovating the home on the left you know that the fast cash buy now sell home uh company bought he's been doing a good job renovating it he's out there and i've got somebody walking up the street so i was just looking but uh but yeah so um they're going to be very vulnerable. I think they're uh, so vulnerable. I heard they vowed not to say anything, I guess, about them living in this home, scot-free. They're not supposed to be there, and blazy, blazy, blazy. Um, It's about to all come out, and drugs will be found, and it's going to make it worse. Oh, my God. I heard it's about to all come out, and drugs will be found. It's going to make it worse. Yeah, they're going to be really vulnerable. So this person's a drug user and or they're either drug user or people they hang out with or allow over their home are drug users. How that resonate? Her drugs will be found. The house can be total um, loss, but somehow drugs are going to be found, I guess, in the rubble um, or maybe drug paraphernalia in the rubble or what have you, what have you. Somehow drugs, possibly, I didn't hear drug paraphernalia, but logic, intuition and reasoning would say probably drug paraphernalia too um, if you're finding drugs in charred rubble. And I'm just being for real. Um, Lord have mercy almighty. This is terrible. I feel you guys know this person or you maybe uh, maybe it's an estranged family member. I don't feel you're part of the toxic family. For some, you could be part of the toxic family possibly. But I feel for majority of my collective, you might be an estranged family member of this person or you might be the fire... Um, chief or fire uh marshals or fire team that goes and investigates this uh house fire that's going to be a total loss and find the drugs and possible drug paraphernalia or what have you what have you or maybe police get involved and investigate it or somebody else get involved and investigate it somehow the fraudulent paperwork of this uh indeed of this home i'm assuming with fraudulent signature or signatures is going to be significant in this as well because um, I, I heard they're not going to get like any um, anything out of it because um, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. It is going to cause a huge ass investigation, not just a fire investigation. Other series of chain events. Big series of chain events. Negative towers here. This toxic family has bit off more than they can chew. Oh my God, I heard this is cause, uh, it's going to cause a shitstorm with this family. My God, a shitstorm. Uh, it sounds like the toxic family was in on, it sounds like one of these toxic family members lives in this home. Now I'm just being for real. Um, I think you guys know the toxic family or you're about to investigate this or, uh, or what have you, what have you. Or maybe you live in the community that this is going on in. 
I'm not sure, but there's drugs involved. The house is going to be a total loss. It hasn't happened yet. This person's going to end up in jail. I heard possibly prison, uh, prob probably prison down the line. They're going to be very vulnerable. They're going to be speaking on their toxic family. There is going to be betrayals left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. And betrayals left and right and left and right and left and right and left and right. So, look, yeah, this person is going to feel very vulnerable after this. And I heard they have a history of um, fires um, in the past. They were arsons in the past as well, but this person never, never got, uh, never got accused of them as arson. But they're about to now. Oh, great. Okay. So I heard um, they never, uh, this person, they have a string of history of arsons in the past of setting fires, intentionally setting fires in the past, but they never got uh, basically held accountable for their actions. They got let off, clean slate, let go, let go, let go. And I'm sure it was insurance money involved. There most certainly was insurance money involved. It's about to backfire this time. There most certainly was insurance money involved, and it's about to backfire this time is what I just heard. Wow. And there's going to be betrayal, 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 betrayal. Toxic family members all over the place. Betrayals. Um, this I heard the toxic family has bit off more than they can chew. Uh, they're about to be very vulnerable and probably very highly embarrassed over this, but this is terrible. All right, I'm closing this. I love you guys. Everybody have a good day and namaste.